Okay, a little bit of a different vlog today. I am on my way to pick up Hannah from her cheer practice, but I've got something on my mind I wanna share with you. Sayla, here's my question for you. Okay. What is your pet peeve? Um, well, I really don't like when um, you're writing on a chalkboard and then you scrape your nail on it and um, you think like you've chipped your tooth or you chipped your nail. It's my biggest pet peeve. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I have never ever heard of that before. <laughs> Uh, put down in the comments, do you know what she's talking about? This is a pet peeve. Sayla is taking this very seriously. Do you have any idea what she's talking about? Okay, I have a pet peeve about church culture. Maybe more than one. But here's one of them. You know that time when you used to be able to walk into church before COVID-19 happened and someone would ask you how you're feeling and you would feel like you had to respond with the phrase blessed and highly favored? Church folks know what I'm talking about. The reason this kind of bothers me isn't because it's not possible to be blessed and highly favored or I don't like that statement, but it's because sometimes what we actually mean if we were gonna tell the truth is, my life is falling apart, but I'm really embarrassed by it. So what I'll say is blessed and highly favored. Like, why is it that we have this need to pretend like as soon as we became Christians, we don't have any more problems? Jesus actually didn't come to earth to fix all of our problems. He came to fix our eternal problem. And yes, I know that Jesus fixing our eternal problems means that we're a part of a kingdom of heaven. And that means that we're blessed by God because just being a son or a daughter of the most high God means we are blessed. And that comes with all kinds of good things. But the simple truth is Jesus also said in this world, you will face all kinds of trials. He certainly said, I have overcome the world, but he didn't say you'll never have another problem again. I'm thinking about all of this today in relation to our 21 days of prayer because I'm thinking about hope. Hope doesn't mean that we pretend we don't have any problems. Hope means we know we can go to God with our problems. Then it turned into a hug. Bye, Kenna. Hi. Hi. How was your day? I'm good. I need water. Okay. <laughs> Hope is about knowing that even if my entire life falls apart, God loves me and he is with me. That all things work together for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. Prayer is the gift of getting to talk to God about our problems and our pains, being honest with him, telling him the truth that we recognize that we actually do have problems and bringing those problems to the God who loves us and will carry us through every single season. Maybe you have a point of pain or a problem that you're facing right now. For us, it's the wildfires in Southern California and the fact that we just heard that the ones close to the Antelope Valley are getting worse. Our hearts are heavy as we think about the homes that are being lost, the lives that are being disrupted and even threatened. And our hearts are heavy as we pray for the firefighters who are busy at work all over the state of California. But we still have hope because we believe in a good God who is at work even in this circumstance. I want to encourage you to bring your pain and your problems to God in prayer because he loves you and he sees you and he cares for you. Do it as soon as you're done watching this video and do it every single day from now on. And if you want to post in the comments below something that I can be praying for you about, a point of prayer, a point of pain, a problem you're facing, I would be honored to pray with you and ask God to give you hope in whatever you are going through. God is good and he loves you and there is hope for you. Hey, Sayla. Hey. Uh, what's going on right now? I'm going to try my first strawberry for my strawberry plant. All right. Let's see the strawberry. This is it. It's really tiny. It's a small strawberry plant, but hey. Ready? Yeah, let's do it. 
I'm scared. Don't be scared. Try it. So good. Is it really sweet? Yeah. Yeah. Really sweet. I like that it is a little funky shape. That's hard. The, the end part? Yeah. Yeah. That's part of growing it in the garden. Oh, look at it. You got strawberry all in the <laughs> Okay, so I know I am a big nerd about this, but the new iOS update just came out and I am now filming in 4K 60 frames per second on my cell phone. What a nerd. What a nerd. Living in the future is amazing. Okay, you guys have to be quiet because it can hear everything and I can't. Oh, I don't know.